I'm Abigail Martin from Penalty Box Radio here with Cole McDowell of MTSU where they just come off an overtime loss to Santa Clara. Cole, what a game this was, what a weekend this was. This is the third and final game that MTSU has this weekend, but I have to mention Alexander Yarger has two hat tricks and almost got a third tonight with two goals. What did you see from him and with his line mate Josh Friedenberger? Um, I just saw his aggression and his will to play. Um, he looks like he really wanted to be out there and he showed it. He just played 100% the whole time and I, I think it goes great with Josh. They just, they go neck and neck. They're just, the heart's there, the grit's there, the determination's there and it showed. Mentioning heart, I'm seeing a little bit of chemistry with Brendan Mitchell, Corey Settle and Jake Fink. What have you seen from them recently that's really stood out to you as well? Mostly overall their passing and their communication. Just that's two of the main things you need when you play the game, especially at a level like this. You need to have communication, grit, good crisp passes, good hard shots on net, and they're providing all of that for us, as you can tell. Friday night and Saturday night, you face Mississippi State in games, well, scoring was not short, that is needless to say. However, but having those such big scoring wins, and what did it take for the mentality tonight to come in focus with such an identity game? Uh, I think just knowing that Santa Clara is a very much tougher opponent being an ACHA D2 opponent rather than just playing against Mississippi State. Um, the mentality was this team is going to be hungry coming off a shootout loss to Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. They're going to want to have revenge. They're not going to want to leave Tennessee without a win. And to go into that tonight, we had to really stay focused and go over our game plans and just follow through with it. Was part of the game plan, first of all, you have Jalen Mitchell starting in net and exactly midway through switch out goaltenders with Ryan Bobro. Was that part of the game plan tonight? I believe it was as far as I know. Um, just to get them both a good feel and not have one play too much and just see, um, just get a good feel for it. And you actually, so throughout this season, I know you've been with this team, even though out with an injury, you have stuck by this team thick and through, you've went, you've traveled, you've been to every practice, you've been to every game, but what have you seen from this progression from this team sitting on the bench, acting like a player coach? Um, just knowing that it will be my turn pretty much soon. Uh, we have two more games left and then it's off to off season training. Hopefully I'll be, I'll be back soon enough to get enough good training in me. And watching the progression of the team was, it's really good knowing that, possibly knowing from other players telling me that I kind of started bringing them closer together through my injury. It really, I mean, it warms me up and makes me feel better about myself even though I have all this messed up stuff going wrong with me. But I know that I'm almost through it, so I'm gonna keep pushing and fighting. I hope they do the same as well. Well, I wish you a speedy recovery as you keep following through and go like the uh, Ole Miss coming up. And thank you so much for your time, Cole. Yeah, no problem.